My name is Kevin Quiles Bonilla. I am an interdisciplinary artist, originally from Puerto Rico, born and raised, but I've been living in New York for the past six years. A lot of my work, it's predominantly about my lived experience as a Puerto Rican that migrated to the United States. Exploring that relationship between living in that threshold between the island and the mainland, just the amalgamation of like questionings and consequences and privileges and outcomes that comes with inhabiting that, that identity. And I try to do that not only focusing on my Puerto Rican identity, but also on all the other intersections that I inhabit as a Puerto Rican, as a queer person, as a person of color, as a person with a disability. All of those intersections, they live with each other and they interact with each other. They don't exist uh, in a vacuum. One of the reasons why I need to create is because I feel that we are constantly bombarded with so much information. We're constantly bombarded with so much images, with so much uh, visual images. And so I feel that it's important to continue talking about things that are unraveling in the world that we may have forgotten about. So to me, it's just very important for my work to work almost as a reminder, you know, that even though there's so many things happening in the world as we speak, there's still other things that are unraveling. My process of creation uh, varies depending on the present moment. I think it's kind of like a mixture of my current context, whether, whether I have a space to be able to work or if I don't. I think that my work constantly is jumping from the collective to the individual, sort of like the macro to the micro. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm mostly drawn to photography because it allows me to sort of uh, dive into a specific past that I'm very interested in. I think that in order to understand our present, we sort of need to look into our past. Thinking of the objects that are often sold um, in, in the capital, in Puerto Rico, specifically aiming towards tourists. This very specific language that is created for the recent body of work that I've been working a lot here at Monoira, I've been, uh, I, I wanted to sort of appropriate that language. Instead of, you know, just focusing on this colonial expectation, you know, of paradise, I wanted to actually think of them not just as towels, but as tapestries that can present a history where there's this very specific attempt for it to be erased. So focusing on very specific catalyst moments, the passing of Hurricane Maria five years ago, the protests of 2019, and then the earthquakes of 2020, which have brought, again, back to the surface, our, our colonial lift experience, you know, and have exposed, you know, the treatment towards Puerto Ricans, not only by the Puerto Rican government, but also by the, by the United States government. I think one of my main uh, interests is just to, you know, continue creating a dialogue, you know, about things that are often are not spoken about enough. Creating community, I think that's to me has been like the most productive and most generative thing. And that will then allow for, for new work and new dialogues to, to come in.